So we already know that 10th house is a very important house. How does the 10th Lord behave in different houses? We are going to know about that. And specifically, I will also talk a little bit about profession in this video as well. Little bit, not too much about profession in this video. But first do the 10th Lord in different houses, right? So, see, if the 10th Lord is going into Ascendant, now these things will change as per different planets becoming the 10th Lord. For example, if Saturn as the 10th Lord is going in the Ascendant, then in this particular scenario, if the 10th house is having Aquarius, then the Ascendant is Taurus, it will be good. But if the 10th house is Capricorn, then the Ascendant will be Aries, which will not be good. So such modifications you will have to do yourself depending on the knowledge that I have given in my previous videos. This have to be considered, right? Only based on one factor, we don't make predictions. The purpose of this channel is that you learn properly and you apply it yourself. When 10th Lord goes into Ascendant, it is a very good Rajyo. So much name, fame, status, success, authority is there. Person is well respected in the society. Person is professionally successful. And generally, the person is such a big status that other people want to become like him. Right? Generally, this person is successful in very young age. High professional achievements. Good fan following is there. Person is respected. When the 10th Lord goes into the second house, person enjoys one of, you know, one of the greatest position, very high position in life. These people enjoy. They earn much through profession. Their family members support them in their profession. And this setup is something which makes a person Kulmukhya, right? Kulmukhya means main person in their clan. That means this person will be one of the most successful person in his family, friend circle and all of that. Along with this 10th Lord and 2nd house sometimes can also give problems with respect to eyesight about which the native should be careful. And this native generally whatever they will say it will come out true. So they have to be very careful about whatever they say about themselves or others. Such people should always do much planning in life. Because if they come across a problem about which they have not thought before then they cannot perform well in these conditions. So proper planning is needed. And most importantly, these people can be very much running behind money, looking for stability. Looking for stability is not difficult, not something bad. So this is good. This is an indicative that, you know, before the age of 30, stability is somehow difficult in life. Along with that, these people can be very money minded, very money focused, which they should try to keep under control. Right. If the 10th Lord is going into third house, it is not a very good setup. One have to take a lot of risk in their profession. One is always, you know, like their professional condition is instable. The person also have a lots of ups and downs in life. And generally these people settle only after the age of 30, 35. One have to take a lot of risk. Generally, these people don't stay in jobs for very long. They have a tendency of changing jobs. Competition difficulties are there in profession, sometimes because of enmities or backbiting of people, some professional setbacks can also be there. And profession includes a lot of travel. That is there along with that person can be, you know, person can have bad name, fame and status also. And generally such people, because of fighting or beating someone, they can land into problem as well, about which they should be careful. When the 10th Lord goes in 4th house, person generally do what they are skilled in. One chooses profession according to their skill. So, along with that, person is very happy in profession. Work from home kind of setup is also included, is also indicated with this setup. One earns well in their profession. One is very successful in their pro profession also. Highly posited in their profession. They earn so well that Quite early, before the age of 40, 45, they get home and vehicle from the efforts of their profession only. Generally, such people will engage in more than one profession and it is better if they follow their skills in choosing a profession or if they create profession by themselves, it is very, very good. If these people work with their family members, it is very good. It is one of the best thing to do. Tenth Lord going in fifth house, initially, it is a little bit difficult for profession. 
but later on person gains much authority in their profession person is visionary their plans and ideas generally work very well in managerial positions these people will do very good generally because of over engagement with the profession such people are not able to devote time to their family members specifically children who suffer a blow because of it but other than that things are good in fact after childbirth after marriage their profession takes a new jump their profession goes to a new height and these people are generally very respectable they have much followers they are a favorite of their juniors and they enjoy high name fame status in their profession when 10th lord is situated in 6th house in that particular scenario one can have tendency of taking a lot of loans which they sometimes cannot repay so one have to be careful about it professional enmity professional competition will be there which can disturb the native such people 10th house 10th lord and 5th house also 10th lord and 6th house also these people can be very successful in that jobs that one get after clearing competitive competitive exams these people will be very rich and well to do they will also have multiple servants these people love comfort in life they think about convenience like they think in terms of you know how i can work to make my life more easier these people can be overly focused on money some something that they should take care of sometimes because of bad health fickle health their professional life can be disturbed these people should also be very careful about not landing into accidents or not hurting themselves they should be careful about it along with that if these people do partnership with their distant relatives that is good it is not a very good setup for the person to have a smooth professional life lots of ups and downs are there generally these people are they are appreciated but it takes much hard work on their part to get the appreciation so this particular thing is there 10th lord and 7th house person is a very good taskmaster he is well known in whatever duty he does right he is famous going to the top position is somehow difficult but they generally have a working life partner also and generally their spouses are more successful in profession as compared to them if these people take the advice of their life partners in their profession then it will be good it also indicates that there is a little bit of tension in uh, marital life as well these people generally have profession related to traveling and good results in profession good settlement in profession you know getting rewarded in profession only happens after the age of 45 but their retirement is good and generally these people have extra income right apart from their job also these people can do some other things in their part time from which also these people have very very good income this position is specifically very beneficial if someone wants to go to a foreign land and get a job there this profession is very beneficial for that so this setup is very beneficial for having a profession in foreign lands most importantly in this particular setup when the 10th lord is in the 7th house because of health problems and uncertainty in life one can lose some major professional chances about which one should be careful they should take proper care of their health and before saying no to anything they should assess things properly only after that they should say no otherwise they can lose on great chances when the 10th lord is going into 8th house then in that particular scenario there is instability in profession there are ups and downs in profession generally in normal 5 to 9 job these people don't do well they should choose a job where they can where they can be called any time police army cyber security and all such things these people can also opt for early retirement generally these people have more than one profession and to you know balance between both the professions right one profession is based on their passion one profession they do to sustain themselves and balance between them is difficult sometime this chaos of having two professions also disturbs their personal life these people generally in their major profession which they do for sustenance they are generally unfortunate also so they get delayed promotions and sometimes their promotions and their progress can be hindered for some time also because of backbiting and because of family issues sometimes these people can be forced to leave job or you know stop working right their personal life can also disturb their professional position and these people also have a tendency of like you know thinking too much which can affect their workings which can affect their professional efficiency and 
multiple times when this combination is formed by a very strong planet one can be you know like one can think too much about their profession and too much about improvement that they you know that they are not able to behave properly right like very much focused in profession thinking about profession only is something that should be avoided otherwise it is not very good along with that if the 10th lord is going into 9th house it is once again a very good rajyog so name fame status position authority is there one is fortunate in a profession one get quick promotions in a profession generally in these cases i have seen that people by going through uh, internal promotions they reach at very high positions right generally in these cases i have seen policemen who do they have not joined at a very good position but with internal you know promotions they go equal to the position of an ips and things like that profession can be related to government these people also do very good in teaching they generally have a godfather whom if they listen to if they follow the advice of their godfather they can succeed very well in life right generally in the old age after right around the age of 50s and after the age of 50s life is very good uh much professional achievement is there in the second half of life and these people if they don't choose for government job then fit then for their professional well being they should either settle to foreign lands or they should work somewhere which is not their homeland or not their not the city that they are born in these people are supported by their family members in their profession also and like 10th lord in 8th house can also indicate 10th lord in 8th house and 10th lord in 4th house can also indicate that person can remain unemployed for long one year two year three year and all all of that 10th lord in 2nd house 10th lord in 9th house 10th lord in ascendant makes sure that person never remain unemployed for long so they, they don't have to worry much they are so skilled and they are so valued that even if they don't apply for jobs they will automatically get offers people want to employ them so in the matters of profession at least they are very very secure one more thing in the case of 10th lord in 4th house and in the case of 10th lord in 7th house professional 10th lord in 9th house also professional enjoyment or the real result of the professional combinations in the horoscope come in the second half of life after the age of 40 45 only before that it is a mediocre book. 10th lord in 10th house work person is very extremely successful famous authoritative 10th lord in ascendant 10th lord in 10th house one should opt for business where they are very successful if they are not opting for business they are at a position where many people are at their disposal these people are highly placed in their profession so much so that everyone wants to employ them people want to become like them also these people are idols for the society much name fame status prestige is there and not only that 10th lord in 10th house or 10th lord in ascendant person does something which impacts the complete society positively which uplifts the level of the complete society itself this person is very indispensable in profession generally 10th lord in 10th house will make the person engage in multiple professions where in all of the professions person will be very successful so successful that people will want to become like him 10th lord in 11th house in this particular scenario one earns very well by their profession generally these people are uh, come from very humble background and they have high aspirations all of which gets fulfilled from their profession only that means they have good income from profession generally if these people pursue their interest or if they people pursue their skills then they are very good professionally 10th lord in 11th house is also a very good combination for a very successful musician or singer 10th lord in second house is also a very good combination for some a very good musician singer film cinema artist etc 10th lord in 11th house in that particular scenario the advice of life partner is also very beneficial in profession that they should always follow life partner is also very professionally active which helps them not only this person is professionally successful even their children are also very professionally successful and 10th lord in 10th house 10th lord in 11th house 10th lord in ascendant generally person leaves a professional legacy right this person makes a something which their children can also inherit which secures their professional future so this is a very very good set 10th lord in 12th house generally such people if they are not careful about themselves then they have such tendencies and such thinking that they can commit crime also so they should be careful about it 
10th lord and 12th house one have much name fame prestige internationally many international people are in contact with them these people generally love working in isolation they you know work in the background where people don't know who have worked 9 to 5 job is not very good for them they should also do a job where they can be called any time call center or self employment and other such things are very good this person being a spendthrift though they may earn very well from their profession but they cannot save money on which they should work and if they work on it then it will be good otherwise not this person is not very interested in their profession this person will always have a tussle between spiritual life pursuing their interest in doing their profession which will you know which will be bad for their professional life so these people should try their level best to do that particular profession which they you know which they are interested in or choose a profession as per their skill or as per their liking otherwise it becomes very problematic and this is something that have to be understood along with that you see this prestige prestige is also seen with respect to the 10th house right it is mar right so i must have told in the previous video if the 10th house is powerful 10th lord is powerful then in that particular scenario person is very prestigious person is very well to do right person have name fame status in society person is much respected so that is there one more thing i want to add that when 10th house is transited by a malefic planet or 10th lord is transiting in his debilitation rashi inimical rashi or in transit if the 10th lord is conjoined with or respected by a malefic planet or if a malefic planet is transiting over the placement over the rashi which is occupied by the 10th lord in the rashi chart at that point of time it is you know there can be defamation to the native there can be you know false accusations on the native about which one should be careful in the same manner when a strong planet powerful planet transits to the 10th house when a strong powerful planet transits over the rashi where 10th lord is situated in when 10th lord becomes exalted goes to own rashi in transit or when 10th lord is aspected or conjoined by beneficial planet in transit then this is generally the time when person gets awards recognition owners they generally get promotions also one more thing is there you should note down the rashi where 10th lord is situated in d9 say if the 10th lord is situated in d9 in the rashi libra then understand it at the rashi of venus now venus rashi will be libra also take the other rashi of venus taurus also whenever this rashi will be influenced by beneficial planets or whenever this venus lord of the rashi is going through good transit going in exaltation rashi in transit is virgottam in transit going through own rashi in transit at that point of time applying for a job or doing investment is very beneficial for the native which will yield result more than expected so this is a small tip that you can use for your benefit and astrology is full of such tips because the purpose of astrology is to make person more fortunate give them more result as compared to the hard work that they do right so such techniques are a plenty and this should be used for the native's benefit because only if you do this you will be you know you will use astrology for the real purpose it was meant to do 10th house also indicates nidhi nidhi means treasure so when the 10th lord is good when the 10th lord is connected to ascendant 10th house or 9th house or when the 10th lord is powerful then one can stumble upon a treasure also generally these people can win lotteries or they can get huge return on investments which other people generally don't go don't get or these people can get you know benefited from that money which they have not earned so someone can leave them a fortune or things like that generally happen with these people also in this particular setup person is a nidhi as in person is a treasure for society what he does for society is very ind indispensable they do great works for the upliftment of society right along with that 10th house also indicates veer veer is a sperm so capability of person to do something if the 10th lord is weak 10th lord is afflicted 10th house is afflicted then in that particular scenario person is not very capable of doing things you put responsibility on this person this person will fail you only if you are having this combination then you have to be very careful about fulfilling all the promises that you make on the other hand if the 10th lord is powerful because you see 10th house indicates lineage also so whenever it is about analysis of childbirth 
or continuation of lineage whenever it is a question of will i have a male child or not 10th house becomes very important in male horoscope also 10th house becomes very important because it indicates we so when 10th house is connected with powerful planet when 10th lord is powerful one is very viryavan that means one is very capable one earns so well one is in such a great position in their life that they are you know palak for many people many people are dependent on them many people earn their livelihood through them this should be understood and in the case of male horoscopes even if everything else is bad the strength of the 10th house strong planet in 10th house the strength of the 10th lord will make sure that this person will have a child for sure 100% right specifically when 10th house is connected with a powerful planet or when the 10th lord is powerful then at least one male child is completely guaranteed in this particular case be sure to check the horoscope of the spouse also because child you will not produce by yourself so this you have to keep in mind one more thing you know motivation like some people can be demotivated easily some people can be disturbed easily some people cannot this is also indicated by the 10th house when 10th house is connected to strong planet or when 10th house is connected to venus mars or sun then this person cannot be demotivated very easily this is a very good setup on the other hand when mercury moon or venus is connected to the 10th house or when the 10th lord is weak then the person can easily give up the person can easily be you know the person can easily be humiliated so if you are having this combination you have to keep this in mind that people will try to disturb you try to make you lose your focus in whatever you are doing but you should avoid this only then it will be good in that particular case you see awards accolades and owners is seen with respect to 11th house also in with respect to 10th house also so when the 10th lord is powerful when there is a powerful planet connected in 10th house the person is acclaimed as in person gets awarded person is celebrated so generally when you have to see that if someone will get you know awards like bharat ratna etc you should check the 10th house a very strong 10th house and a very strong 11th house will indicate that whatever the person is doing the person will be leader into that right so he will be one of the top in the field who will be celebrated by awarded by many top institutions nationally internationally so this is there because a 10th house indicates kirti also right kirti means fame so when the 10th house is powerful 10th lord is powerful fame is also indicated by ascendant when ascendant ascendant lord is powerful 10th house 10th house lord is powerful one is very famous one is very popular one is at the top of their profession and generally such people gets awards accolades and owner also right so this is very good this is very very good one more thing is there when the 10th lord is connected to moon or mercury fickle planets or 10th house is connected to moon or mercury then in that particular scenario one have very you know like one have very quick changes in their life which makes their life unstable right these people can never think you know these people cannot settle very quickly if they think that i will you know work in this company only i will live here only they say it does not work for them they will have to frequently change it on the other hand when slow planets the saturn jupiter mars is connected to the 10th house or 10th lord or when 10th lord is powerful then in that particular scenario the life of the person is very stable right so someone who is having mercury or moon connected to 10th house lord in their life there is uncertainty so you know their plans don't work for very long they will have to you know make new changes because the conditions in life keep on changing whereas slow planet saturn mars jupiter connected to the 10th house or 10th lord or 10th lord being powerful indicates that person have much stability in life so for these people if they make something once say if they purchase a home or if they purchase a vehicle that home and vehicle remains with them for long so they generally don't have much financial tension or much financial pressure on them and they can very easily you know they can very easily do other, focus on other things which mercury and moon people who those who have mercury moon connected to the 10th house or weak planet connected to the 10th house cannot have right so this particular thing is there and most importantly you know 10th house indicates king also right governmental work also so 10th house powerful 10th lord is powerful there is powerful planet connected to the 10th house one can get into government job or you know like this does not happen always so that's why i am adding or or what happens that person is like government so you see suppose someone is such a big businessman or someone is such a big producer that suppose someone is such a big producer of timber 
that if anyone is purchasing timber in that area, this timber is coming from this person only. This is the biggest manufacturer or distributor of timber. So in this case, this person is almost like lord like government for the area. So such great business, such great expansion in business, such great authority in business also comes when the 10th lord and planet in the 10th house is powerful. And so these are some of the very, very special facets of the 10th house that you cannot ignore at all. Now coming to profession, there is an opinion that profession is seen with respect to 10th house. I am saying this is just an opinion. Right. For profession, some other rules are also there, which I have discussed in my YouTube videos, other YouTube videos that you should watch very properly, seriously, carefully. Right. Profession should be seen with respect to 10th house is one of the opinion which does not work with 100% accuracy, but works with 95% accuracy so that you should take. Right. Now, in this particular case, three type of things are there. A planet will be connected to 10th house. You have to take the signification of the planet. That planet will be lord of a house. You have to take the signification of that house. Tenth lord will be situated in a particular house. You have to take signification of that particular house. Tenth lord will be a planet. You will have to take the signification of that planet. Now, after taking all of these houses and all of these planets, you write what are the weak planets or ineffective planets. Weak planet is not able to give the result. Remove weak planets. Take the strong planet and take all the significations of these planets and then Take the common signification. In astrology, there is a rule with three samvad bhavad pramanyam. What is indicated by two or more than two factor, that happens for sure. The happening of other results is dubious. So you make a list. Planet connected to 10th house, signification of the planet. That planet will be lord of a house, signification of that house. The planet 10th lord is connected with signification of that planet, signification of the 10th lord. And there will be a house where the 10th lord is situated in signification of that house. There will be a house, the 10th Lord will be expecting signification of that house. If 10th Lord is expecting a planet, signification of that planet. In this, remove weak planets and then out of these planets, find a common signification. Any signification which is signified by three or more than three factors out of all of these factors that I have mentioned will indicate the profession of the native. So this way you have to find profession and this principle works with 95% to 98% accuracy. So this have to be used. One thing is there, there is one particular question. If a particular profession is not indicated in your horoscope, can you not pursue that profession? Certainly you can pursue that profession, but you will not be successful in that profession. Name, fame, status, recognition will not come to you if you follow that profession. Name, fame, status, recognition, fortune, luck, good life, success will only come in that profession which is indicated by your horoscope. Right. So as I always say, like doctor studies, disease, to give medication to people, astrologer will study about luck to make the person lucky and you will be lucky only when you follow your horoscope. So following your horoscope is very, very important, right? So choose the profession according to your horoscope, have a child according to your horoscope, right? Make investments when your horoscope recommends it, choose a life partner according to your horoscope, then you will be fortunate. In the matters related to childbirth, marriage, etc., it is much destined. Right. So you cannot choose something which is not indicated by your horoscope. But in the matter of profession, if there is no Rajyog, the person have to be unsuccessful. In that particular scenario, one will not make a choice as per their horoscope because they are destined to be unsuccessful. In this case, as an astrologer, you can help the native make the right choice and the person will be successful despite the fact that he is not having Rajyog. So he is not having Rajyog, he will not enjoy much, but at least he will be able to sustain himself and his family. If the person is having Rajyog, in which condition the person is going to be successful in that particular case, he will automatically choose the thing which is indicated by the horoscope. This is how fate and free will works. I have told it to you in nutshell. Along with that, multiple videos I have made previously on the concept of fate and free will. You can watch that videos. Watch all of these videos. Note down the technique. Read it over and over again. Note down the explanation. Read it over and over again. And you will have a holistic understanding. That holistic understanding you will have to use. Now, if there is, if the first house is connected to profession, I will use the word first house is connected to profession. That means first lord is connected to 10th house, 10th lord is connected to first house, all the significations that I told you. Then because first house indicates body, this person can work related to body. So bodybuilder, beauty, pageant, doctors are indicated. 
first house also indicates personality so people who give guidance is also indicated by the first house first house also indicates the name fame status so actors social media personality or you know those who are into promotions digital marketing this is also indicated by the first house other things psychology and other such things which aims at understanding people is also indicated by the first house that's the first thing second house second house indicates wealth so any profession related to wealth wealth management stock market banking investment all of these things are indicated by the second house second house also indicate eyes so doctors who work related to eyes i think ophthalmologist it is called so that is indicated by the second house and because second house indicate eyes animation media films photography this is also indicated by the second house things which please your eyes also things which give you an extra eye x ray mri all such profession setting up a business of x ray mri these things are also indicated by the second house also this marketing etc which is aimed at making more people reach to you right education profession in these areas is also indicated by the second house because second house indicates food also hotel management fooding business is also indicated by the second house second house indicates family and lineage as well right so doing family business continuing with family business is also indicated by the second house because second house indicates speech speaking storytelling or astrology vastu where you give predictions and guidance verbally to people is also indicated by the second house third house as i always say third house indicates business so in this case one should be in business and one can do business of x ray films also that will come into second house when i talk of third house it is a pure business purchasing and selling a product so that is a shop type of a setup things such as mba management is also indicated by the third house things which indicates stunt things which indicate courage risk such as stock market investment doing stunts etc that is also indicated by third house engineering and engineering related things are also indicated by third house because this house is courage law lawyer is also indicated by the third house because third house is related to ear singing speaking these things are also indicated by the third house doctors who treat ears are also indicated by the third house singing voice modulation this is also indicated by the third house third house indicates fashion also so fashion fashion designing all of these things are also indicated by the third house and as third house indicates traveling right people who have transport company people who work into aeroplanes etc is also indicated by the third house in fact ayurveda and other such ancient medications specifically ayurveda and homeopathy is also indicated by the third house fourth house indicates a speciality so a special type of you know, bed phd these higher level of education are indicated by the fifth house so if someone is working in these areas if someone is providing that level of education right or someone is teaching in these institutes this is indicated by fourth house research fellowship etc is indicated by the fourth house motherhood gynecology pregnancy or doctor related to womb is also indicated by the fourth house working for home homeland motherland whether you work for the betterment of it as a politician or you work as an army person as a police person to protect the land and the people of the land is also indicated by the fourth house people who give spiritual advice or people who give solace to people people who give happiness to people people who give spiritual advice and solace to people is also indicated by the fourth house someone who is into meditation teaching meditation etc is also indicated by the fourth house along with that people who give you solace right some things you do to pass your time going to cinema hall watching movies right so peace is indicated by the fourth house and all these professions are also indicated by the fourth house fourth house indicates agriculture also so agriculture having farm land doing breeding of animals this is also indicated by these professions are also indicated by the fourth house along with that fourth house also indicates animal husbandry etc right it indicates fourth house is water also so things related to water you know mining inside the sea and finding things uh, things uh, business related to gemstone gemstone is also indicated by second house right gemstones and metals are also indicated by second house 
profession related to gemstones and metals are also indicated by the fourth house right or c voyage or uh, working with the c is indicated by the fourth house right fourth house also indicates underground so mining or working underground is also indicated by the fourth house right fourth house indicating mind psychology mind reading these things are also indicated by the fourth house in this case because astrology tarot these things are a very good mind reading tools palmistry these are very good mind reading tools these are also indicated by the fourth house child nutrition pediatricians are also indicated by the fourth house profession related to vehicle right working as an engineer or as an mba in a vehicle institute men sale purchase manufacturing of the vehicle second hand vehicle these professions are also indicated by the fourth house right healing medication taking care of people nursing this is also indicated by the fourth house sale purchase of land property right architecture interior decoration these professions are also indicated by the fourth house work from home as i told you before is also indicated by the fourth house knowledge about religion teaching preaching about religion philosophy spiritual activities giving mantra to people training people in religious knowledge making people pandits etc giving awards recognition fellowship to people or doing things which right like teaching people in those streams which is like you know this diploma type of courses which increases the uh, skill level of the people right things such as iti which makes people skillful working in these areas is indicated by the fifth house right forecasting planning and professions related to it is also indicated by fifth house professions related to advising is also indicated to fifth house newspaper media etc which is there to educate people this is also indicated by the fifth house knowledge related to language is also indicated by the fifth house and second house generally taking up the traditional profession that your family has been doing since generations or profession that your father or mother have also been doing is also indicated by the fifth house teaching related profession mba management related profession is also indicated by the fifth house when it comes to sixth house general physician medicine doctor nursing this is indicated by the fifth house education related to law lawyer judge is indicated by the sixth house military army police defense or work related to weapons tools right guarding something is indicated by the sixth house social work ngo working for the upliftment of society working for the upliftment of poor people right working towards removing the misery from the society is also indicated by the sixth house working with respect to skin working with surgery working with dermatology is also indicated by sixth house teaching and training animals working with animals specifically wild animals as a forest guard forest ranger is also indicated from the sixth house seventh house indicates one who works with sexuality so sexologist gynecologist these are indicated from the Seventh house, people who send others educational counseling, people who send others on, you know, to study in foreign lands is indicated by the seventh house. A study of genetics, evolution, and working in these areas, history also is indicated by seventh house. Working with history is also indicated by the fifth house. Reading and teaching human psychology and behavior, working in areas related to human psychology and behavior is also indicated by seventh house. Plastic surgery. and all such things are also indicated by seventh house beautician beauty parlor cosmetologist is also indicated by the seventh house right plastic surgery transplants these things are also indicated by the seventh house so profession in these areas will be indicated by the seventh house coming to the eighth house is is archaeologist teaching history working with history is indicated by the eighth house working in post mortem forensic departments is also indicated by the 8th house working in medical field as a doctor physician is also indicated by the 8th house right research critical thinking logic and working in these areas producing researches or analyzing market trends etc are indicated by the 8th house working in the area of surgery dissection transplantation is also indicated by the 8th house working in preservation of things mummies etc right collection of things coins stamps etc is also indicated by the 8th house law based education 
that being a lawyer and judge is also indicated by the eighth house. People who specialize in family law, working in insurance department, etc., is also indicated by the eighth house. Right. Working with environment is also indicated by the eighth house. People working in innovation, people who are scientists and civil engineers are also indicated by eighth house. Civil engineering is also indicated by fourth house as well. Ninth house, one can be an astrologer, one works with religion, one works with guidance, one guides people. So palmistry, astrology, tarot, numerology, these things are indicated by the ninth house. Ninth house indicating higher education, any type of scientist is also indicated by ninth house. Making weapons, forging things, right? forging things and making things. Doing innovations, making new researches is also indicated by ninth house. Working with politics, religion, religious practices is also indicated by ninth house. People working in the field of education, how to improve education or people working in CBSC office itself is also indicated by the ninth house. Research with education, NGO and working with environment is also indicated by the ninth house. Tenth house indicates working in textile, working with politics, jewelry designing, gemstones, interior designing, architecture, clothing, fashion. These things are indicated by the tenth house. Professional sports, physical training, yoga is indicated by the 10th house. Profession related to nutrition, nutritionalist, etc. Acupressure, Reiki, other such alternative methods of healing is also indicated by the 10th house. Agriculture, animal husbandry, meteorology, digging things are indicated by the 10th house. Pilot, doing things related to aeroplane, or constructing things is also indicated by the 10th house. Working with spirituality, religion, religious practices, asceticism is also indicated by the 10th house. Right? Any type of consultation, specifically educational consultation or guiding people regarding what to do in future, what to do next specifically is indicated by the 10th house. Right? Finance, banking, loan department working in these areas is indicated by 11th house. Working in areas related to investment is indicated by 5th house, sorry, 11th house. Working with children is in pediatrics, etc. is indicated by 11th house. Management is indicated by 11th house. Working with ears, right, singers, musicians, or doctors working with ear is also indicated by the 11th house. 12th house indicates international import export of things, profession related to traveling. Right. Profession into, you know, guiding people, tours related profession is indicated by the 12th house. Investment related profession is indicated by 12th house. Profession related to rules and regulations such as CAs working with GST, etc. is indicated by the 12th house. Visa advisors, etc. are indicated by 12th house. Astrology, spiritual guidance, spiritual counseling, these things are indicated by the 12th house. Education, uh, education and profession in things such as like education giving profession in things such as Yoga, spirituality, Ayurveda is also indicated by the 12th house. Like giving a special type of training in, you know, reading things like reading special languages like Braille or getting some special skills are also indicated by the 12th house. Right? Profession related to architecture, furniture making, carpentry, house designing, society planning and all of these uh, and all of these things which, you know, which are actually skilled professions, actually good professions, but they can also be done by, you know, some low class working labor as well, right? Like architecture is a very big field, but laborers also do it though. Architecture is at different level and a labor who will make it make a wall is at a different level, right? So the same profession who have a great high and a great low also all such professions are also indicated by that 12th house. Now coming to planet. Sun will indicate profession related to medicine, photography, politics, scientist, profession related to biology, import export of perfumes, etc. Profession related to government, governance, timber, profession related to timber, wood, profession related to transplant medicine. Right. These things are indicated by Sun. Name, fame, status related profession, right? Social media, digital marketing acting, etc. These are indicated by the sun. 
moon indicates profession related moon first of all indicates profession related to food moon is the significator for business also profession related to medicine biology chemistry psychology ayurveda public relationship social media marketing influencer marketing these are indicated by moon business counseling etc is also indicated by moon working with eyes things which give entertainment to people right opening shopping mall making movies documentary making music which give entertainment peace solace to people is indicated by moon as i told you food related business hotel management restaurant is indicated by moon film making photography is also indicated by moon things which stimulate the feeling of people animation voice over designing right working in radio etc is indicated by moon right software based education botany a software based profession botany education is also indicated by moon working with distillery alcohol other intoxicants are also indicated by moon cold storage is indicated by moon working with jewelry gemstones precious metals is also indicated by moon mars will indicate profession related to engineering machine learning right law related law related profession is also indicated by mars carpenter is also indicated by mars skill based education such as iti education is also indicated by mars leadership management based profession is also indicated by mars motivational speaking team leader is also indicated by mars knowledge related to electricity is also given by mars so why i am using the word knowledge because mars will give knowledge related to electricity then you will work in things related to electricity right so knowledge given by the planet and education given by the planet is the same thing right so in this manner it should be used right the same planet will give you education only then you will work if you don't know how to make a building how you can be an architecture right so for architecture to become an architect you have to learn architecture right? so this is the basic concept the same list can be used to find education also right so people into public speaking motivational speaking team leaders manage managers are indicated by mars doctors doing surgery giving anesthesia anesthesia experts etc knowledge of surgery working in the fields of surgery is also indicated by mars right heavy engineering is indicated by mars tailors painters or other such chemical related work is indicated by mars the knowledge of law and crime punishment administration is indicated by mars police army security these professions are indicated by mars warfare related knowledge right making guns machine guns tanks these things are indicated by mars strategist is indicated by mars profession related to digging mining is indicated by mars right dealing with major metals right iron steel etc is also indicated by mars extraction and excavation is also indicated by mars mercury will indicate profession related to business teaching sculptures right works related to clothes textile profession related to banking finance profession related to speaking oratory book writing journalism right professions related to chemistry computer based profession right writing based profession speculation based profession stock market based profession scientist agriculturist is indicated by mercury dancing singing acting these things are also indicated by mercury social media related work is also indicated by mercury jupiter will indicate profession related to finance profession related to education right speaking based profession voice modulation radio jockey astrologers right people who guide people is also indicated by jupiter vedic knowledge of things such as spirituality yagya homa traditional priest tantra mantra yantra is also indicated by jupiter meditation spiritual guidance is indicated by jupiter any type of advisory is indicated by jupiter profession related to history archaeology is indicated by jupiter people florist people working with botany botany is indicated by jupiter right scientists are indicated by jupiter people working with gold and jewelry is indicated by jupiter right general physicians are also indicated by jupiter specifically teaching is indicated by jupiter venus indicates team leaders people working with finance people working with sexuality right is indicated by venus venus generally indicates business when i say general business it is import export sale purchase of products right so general commerce is also indicated by venus venus female related you know professions right like professions which are very female oriented right beautician etc gynecologist etc this is indicated by venus right 
air hostess is indicated by Venus. Flying related professions are indicated by 10th house, Sun, Mars and Mercury. Right. Architecture is indicated by Venus. Team leadership, human resource management, profession related to makeup and cosmetics is indicated by Venus. Professions related to clothes is indicated by Venus. Professions related to human relationship, relationship counseling, uh, you know, uh, is indicated by Venus. People who fight family cases is indicated by Venus. Agriculture, animal husbandry, specifically working with pet animals is indicated by Venus. Animal breeding is also indicated by Venus. Heavy engineering working with tools or getting education from institutions like ITI and then doing works of electrician, carpenter, etc. is indicated by Saturn. Law philosophy is indicated by Saturn. Language-based education and teaching, right? Teaching multiple languages, to working as a translator, etc. is indicated by Saturn. Right? People who translate books from Sanskrit or other languages to another language, right? Write and comment on them. That is indicated by Saturn. Working with heavy metals, other materials, minerals, steel, iron, phosphorus, etc. is indicated by Saturn. Right. Knowledge of lost traditions, astrology, meditation, Buddhism, right, Tantra, Mantra, Yantra, spiritual practices, that is indicated by Saturn. Right. Working in building making, working in architecture is indicated by Saturn. Management related professions are indicated by Saturn. Stock market related professions are indicated by Saturn. Someone who's in, someone who earns money by investment or someone who earns money by guiding people how to invest is indicated by Saturn. Knowledge related to digging, coal, mining, oil, steel, and profession related to these areas are indicated by Saturn. Any profession related to extraction and excavation, preservation is indicated by Saturn. Saturn will also give profession related to history, religion, and knowledge of lost things. So people who are into finding things, detectives, etc., they are also ruled by Saturn. Rahu will indicate someone working with forest. Rahu will indicate someone working with tools. Rahu will indicate someone working with weapons. Rahu will indicate someone into engineering. Rahu will indicate someone working with electronics. Some Rahu will indicate things such as training also. Thieves is indicated by Rahu. People who cheat others, people who do financial fraud is also indicated by Rahu. Distillery, alcohol and other intoxication related profession is indicated by Rahu. Research is also indicated by Rahu, by the way. Knowledge of and profession in small objects such as watch making, thermometer making is indicated by Ketu. Manufacture, sale, purchase of things which we cannot see. For example, if you use compass, North Pole and South Pole, you cannot see, but it automatically works, right? So making of compass, gyroscope and all such things is also indicated by Ketu. Working with means of communication, telephone, etc. is indicated by Mercury. Working with computers or softwares is also indicated by Ketu. Working with radiation, etc. is also indicated by Ketu. Working in things that we cannot see, generally scientists, etc. Right, who are working on black hole, dark matter, dark energy, all these things are indicated by Ketu. Works related to cold storage, etc. is related to Ketu. Lot of, lot of things, you know, needs very minute detailing, right? There are some people, like some people write on, write names on the you know, on this rice, on a particle of rice, they write names or they make such, you know, such fine wooden carving and all of these things, which is a very minute work that is also indicated by Ketu. Engineering is indicated by Ketu. Working with some unknown things, right? things that you don't know, detective type of work or mining, etc. You don't know what is below the earth is indicated by Ketu. Right, working with bombs, etc. is indicated by Mars and Rahu. Right, work, working with things such as, you know, working with things who change their properties often. Right, Mercury, etc. is indicated by Ketu. Right. Specifically working with computers is indicated by Ketu. And generally, in the matter of profession, Ketu will indicate that, you know, there are some people who will earn through online games. Or there are some people who will earn just because they have helped someone, they earn good amount of money. This is indicated by Ketu when it is connected to 10th house and 11th house. So these are the professions indicated by different planets. I have already told you how to decide the profession. I will repeat it. Take the planet connected to the 10th house, signification of the planet, signification of the 10th lord, signification of the planet conjoined or aspected by or aspecting the 10th lord. 
Also check the house where the 10th Lord is situated in and the house Lords who are expecting the 10th house situated in the 10th house. Make a list out of these, remove the weak planet. Then based on the remaining planet, write signification of all the planets and find the common signification. The signification which is being seen from two or more than two factors is generally the education of the person and one should get indicates profession of the person and one should also get education in the same area so that they can 100% use their education in profession because 80% of the time you see that person is educated in some other department, person works in some other department. In this case, what is the purpose of education? There is no purpose of education. If the person have got education in the same department, it will be better. Many a times I have seen person have done engineering, they work in marketing, later on they go and do masters in MBA. So what if they have chosen the right education right from the starting? Only astrology can do this. So when you read astrology, when you practice astrology, you automatically choose what is meant for you. And once you choose what is meant for you, you become successful, you become happy, right? You become fortunate. That is the purpose of astrology. So use it for your maximum benefit. And then you will see how your life changes, right? Astrology, in astrology, you study about fortune so that you can make yourself and people around you fortunate. And this will only happen when you make astrologically wise decisions. Right. And so do that. To do that, find the planet indicating profession, choose education accordingly, choose profession accordingly. And then you will have more satisfaction, more reward, more income from your profession, which will make you happy, contented, successful. This you do and see the magic of astrology working in your life. Because if you are not using the magic of astrology in your life, then you are, you know, leaving one great like you are not taking advantage of this great knowledge which our sages have given to us. So do it and feel the change. Right. Thank you for watching this.